Today we're in Cairns, uh, we've just got off the ship and I thought what we would do is we'd have a quick look around and see what there is on offer and what we could choose to do if we haven't booked a shore tour on the ship. So I've just come out of the terminal here and I'm going to head right down to the reef terminal um, where I believe all the tours for the uh, outer reef and, and those um, other base tours, water base tours are and then down to the lagoon. I've right, just come across uh, the sign with a little map of what what there is around and where to get there. So if we carry on here, we've got the Wharf One Kiosk, the Fig Tree Playground, City Centre via the Waterfront Boardwalk, the Reef Fleet Terminal, Marlin Marina, Marina Point and the Lagoon. So we'll carry on walking down here. Down along the Esplanade, I'll show you how close we are. There is the ship and down along the Esplanade here are a number of restaurants if you are off the ship, if you're here overnight. If you fancy uh, eating out somewhere different, then uh, this is a good place to go. Dundee's, I've eaten in Dundee's before actually. Very good food there. Um, all is Italian and a few other restaurants down on the Esplanade. I've come to the end of the restaurants here now and you can see this is how close to the ship we are still. And round the corner, we have the Reef Fleet Terminal. Now we are up this way again um, in the not too distant future. So we may look and see what some of the tours are and um, grab one of these tours and bring you a separate video on it. But for now, let's go on inside and see what, what it is we can do from the uh, Reef Terminal here in Cairns. Very much like the inside of, um, of the uh, Reef Terminal at Airlie or any transport terminal really I guess so there are a number of operators here I think who uh, do different tours we've been in the reef terminal and we uh, we spoke to a few of the operators in there they all pretty much do the same thing dive snorkel trips out to the reef um, on either sailboats or the catamarans the thing to bear in mind is they leave round about all of them they leave around about nine o'clock in the morning and they get back, I think the earliest one is possibly about 4.30, um, going up to 5.30. So if you're on a cruise ship and you're thinking you might do it independently, this is not gonna work for you. It depends on what time you've got, um, but it's gonna be very, very tight. Either the cruise ship's gonna arrive after the tour leaves, or <laughs> the cruise ship's gonna leave before you get back, which you do not want. So great trips if you are in Cairns for a few days, no, no use really booking independently. Um, if there's one available on the ship, so just probably you, you want to do that and pay the extra and do that instead. So we're continuing to walk down the Esplanade. It's actually sort of come away from the Esplanade now. Uh, we've got the Shangri-La Hotel and a few other places over there. Oh, there is the pier, Cairns lifestyle hub so we may pop over and have a look at the pier cans pier cans it's lifestyle hub shops dining cafe and bars and here's the entry now we're not going to be able to film in here we'll just do a quick pan around some of the shops some of them are closed probably because of the time we are here Inside the Pier Shopping Centre was a tourist information office uh, which had brochures on all sorts of things so I decided to ask them about the Reef Cruises and there are a couple of options but pretty much most of them are 9 till 5 which sort of explains why the cruise ships charge so much um, for their tours because you can't really get them independently uh, or if you do get them you're probably going to be a little bit uh, a little bit tight on time a little bit panicky maybe to even enjoy it as much as you should do but there are a couple of options uh, there's one that goes out just to an island and that's a half day tour and that leaves about 10 45 gets back about 3 30 i think we'll have a look at the time the timings i might put some details on the uh, on the end or in the uh, actually i'll put some details and links uh, below but also there is an option and this looks interesting it's, it's not particularly cheap it's about 600 i think there's one at five 500 and something around 600 where you can you can go out to the reef on one of the catamarans and you can fly back 
by helicopter. So you go out to the pontoon, uh, have your lunch, do your snorkeling, and then you fly back by helicopter. And I think that gets back about 3.30. So that might fit in with the time. Anyway, well, have a look a little bit further at it and I'll put some details below in case you want to check it out. Right now though, we're going to leave the pier and we're going to head off towards the lagoon and see what's happening down at the lagoon. While I was in the tourist information, I was also looking at some other brochures as well because it's obviously it's not just the reef. You think of the reef because we're in Cairns, but um, there are other options uh, and other tours like Harley, Hartley's Crocodile, uh, there's the Coranda Sky Rails, the Daintree Forest, but similar sort of, um, similar sort of thing around the timing. They all sort of leave uh, quite early in the morning compared to what time the ships get in or they, uh, they're a little bit tight on the, uh, on the other end. So strictly or honestly speaking, seriously look at the tours on the ship. I know they're more expensive. You do get that guarantee that if they're late back, the ship's not going to go without you. I think it's possibly worth it that for the peace of mind anyway. Now we're back on the Esplanade and the Pier Heliport Scenic Flights. I didn't pick up a brochure on here, but it does have a website and a telephone number. So we might have a look and see what's on, on offer. But what, um, what was interesting to me is how close this is. There's the Pier Heliport here. How close this helipad is to the walkway and the beach. Now we've been on helicopters before. Um, yeah, small helicopters, just two, three, four people. And they do create a lot of downdraft. So I think if the helicopter's on here, you'll feel it even if you're walking down the Esplanade. So we'll carry on walking down the Esplanade anyway um, to the lagoon, which is just around the corner here. This is Cairns Lagoon area. This is a big man-made pool uh, with artificial beaches. The beaches in Cairns are just pan over here. As you can see, the beaches in Cairns are, uh, well, non-existent really. They're, uh, they're mud flats. So this sand that they've brought in to make this artificial beach and this lagoon area is a great place to spend the day. There are barbecues over here. Uh, pick up some food if you want to from one of the supermarkets and lounge around in the pool keeping warm in this, or keeping cool in this tropical heat. Now, there's an interesting fact about the Cairns Lagoon. I'm not going to tell you what the answer is, but it is in a very specific shape. Google Cairns Lagoon, put it onto satellite view. You'll need to put it onto satellite view. And if you can see the shape, put it in the comments below. Just across the road from the lagoon are a row of, well, seemingly restaurant after restaurant after restaurant, all different types of food, all different types of cuisine. Stop there, have a uh, spot of lunch or some, uh, a drink, refreshing drink, whatever takes your fancy. Now all this that we've seen so far is actually only about 10 minutes walk from the cruise terminal. So if you're here for a day and you do an activity in the morning or in the afternoon, still leaves you plenty of time to come and have a look at some of these activities. There's also, we've just passed and uh, we'll pop back and have a look at that in a moment, is what's called a refi. It's a big wheel. Um, it's $10 per person. I think it's $8 for children or $50 for an entire gondola. So if you're a family, uh, pack, your, pack yourself all in there for $50. In fact, here is the refi. Now, there don't, doesn't look to be too many people just at the moment, but um, something's just going on. So let's take a ride. So we're taking a ride on the refi. Let's see what we can see. Actually, it's quite nice in here. It's, there's a little bit of a breeze. And we're looking over the mud flats and down the Esplanade. All the way over, we can see the lagoon down here. Hopefully I'm not giving away the question that I asked earlier. There is the lagoon area from above. The reef marina, there's the pier that we were just in. The grass area down here. still going around we're on our third revolution now it's um, actually it's great you can see you can see quite a lot from up here uh, it's, it's probably worth doing just to get a few photographs if you want to get some aerial photographs of the lagoon we're walking back now from the refi from the lagoon area so just past the pier on the left we're going to go and have a look at the casino but Maybe not for the reason that you're thinking. And 
here is the Reef Casino. But the reason why we are here is not for the casino, it's for the Cairns Zoom and Wildlife Dome. Okay, we're not going to do that today, but um, we might be able to get to have a look at it from the outside and see the places and see what's, what's involved. So we've come up to the top of the uh, the casino here, we, and we've not gone into the actual dome, but um, the chaps just explained they do activities. They've got high ropes, they've got a zip line, they've got a power jump, and you can walk around the outside of the dome as well as seeing the animals and the uh, and the rainforest inside. From here, we can. Oh, let's go back here. From here, we can actually see the ship so we can see how close we are. Now what I've not done here is I've not gone around the shops but um, Cairns being a tourist resort as you can imagine there are tourist shops everywhere as well as the normal shops that you would find in, in any city. Uh, so if you need anything, any essentials, I know I needed some new memory cards so we dropped off at, um, at Cairns Central, big shopping centre Cairns Central with all your usual stops and uh, got some from JB Hi-Fi. For now, what we will do, I think we'll head off back to the ship. Uh, there are some of the things that you can do if you do independently, if you're here on the cruise ship and you don't want to book a tour. 